Let's just say the Constructicons have the most unique designs of the Michael Bay Transformers franchise. Hey, what's up? Today I have Studio Series Scrapper, and I have been waiting for one of these to come out since 2009. This design is one that I really wanted a toy of, but it just never got made. Well, guess what? Now it's been made, and I'm a happy collector. Just a heads up, by the way, my friends and I are streaming Modern Warfare, uh, specifically Warzone, every Saturday at around 8 p.m., and then I will be streaming Modern Warfare 2 campaign every Wednesday at 8 p.m., because I've never played it before. So come hang out with us on streams if you want. There'll be YouTube, again, that's 8 p.m. Saturday and 8 p.m. on Wednesday, so make sure you don't miss those as well. Now back to the actual toy. This guy retails for about $30 US and $40 Canadian, and that's honestly a pretty good price for this figure. It has some weird qualities to it, but overall it's really nice. It's probably the most accurate version we will get officially of this guy, so it does the job correctly, and I'm completely fine with that. This guy reminds me a lot of a crab, not just because of the weird claw hand, but just the overall stature and build of this figure. Scrapper was the leader of the G1 Constructicons, but in this team I think Mixmaster is the leader, or Scavenger. It's kind of hard to tell, because, you know, they don't do anything in the movie. But again, watch Trans Theory's videos, I'll link them below if you want more information on the Constructicons. He doesn't come with any accessories, and unlike most of the other Constructicons in this set, he doesn't have to parts form for any of his modes, so that's good. I do have to say though, the detail in this guy is absolutely stunning. Like, you you don't get bored looking at this guy, it's great. I know the Devil Savior version of this figure looks way better, at least in my opinion, than the official release, but going on the previous track record of the other Devil Savior figures being complete nightmares to handle. I am probably not buying that. Head sculpt is odd, but it's there. <laughs> the paint is a bit odd because T Fan Page pointed out that it looks like the eyes are under his nose, and now that's all I can see. So, yeah, thanks, Brian. Compared to the rest of the Constructicons, and you know what? I finally sold some old PC hardware and I got rid of my Asia exclusive Striker Optimus on eBay. So I pre-ordered the box set from H3 and up, and the upgrade kit. So those are on their way. I still like to make it to a thousand subscribers, obviously. So uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. But those figures are on their way. Well, they're pre-ordered. And if those, of, if any of you are wondering why I didn't go with the Big Bad Toy Store pre-order, because that's technically in stock now. They're shipping the figure. That's because I live in Canada, Big Bad Toy Store is in the States, and I'd have to pay exchange rate, duty fees, shipping costs, it'd be too much money. Whereas, Age of 3 and Up's in Canada, so it's gonna take a little bit longer for it to get to me, because they don't have the figures yet, but at least it'll be much easier and cheaper. Articulation on this figure is where he falls a little flat. He has a lot of hindrances, and it's unfortunate, but you know what? You probably won't be getting this guy into any dynamic poses anyways, so it's fine. The hips are the main bad guys here though, at the fact that they don't go out in any meaningful way. They do swivel, but that's about it. Transformation is not that hard to be completely honest. It looks a bit daunting at first, but it's okay. It's pretty easy and satisfying once it all comes together. And yes, I did cut myself while transforming this thing, so you know, please be careful. Front end loader mode is, well, it's fine. It's kibbly, but it, it's fine. If you squint, it looks like a normal front end loader. But yeah, there's a lot of robot junk on it. Fortunately though, I don't really care because it has to do three modes at a $40 price point. And I mean, back in like thrilling 30 days, that was pff, that was easy. But nowadays with rising plastic costs and all that, I'm fine with what we got here. Compared to the rest, and yes, it fits in. And yes, it looks really nice next to the team. And I cannot wait to get the rest of the figures. I know a bunch of them are going to be repainted. I'm not sure which ones exactly are repainted, but I don't want to spoil that for myself. So I'm going to wait till the box set comes before I analyze that. But I will compare these two figures, those two figures together once they show up. I'll do when I get like the whole Devastator video done, that'll, that'll be in there. Hand mode is really cool. I love the way it integrates the vehicle mode into the limbs, like the way the fingers are done. I know this is not 100% accurate to the instructions because the instructions want you to form this like an actual like physical hand, not as one that's crawling on the ground. But for movie accuracy, I like to transform the hand this way. But again, we will look at this more once the box set arrives, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that, because that'll be a big video, that's for sure. I have a ton of plans for it already. Overall, 
I really like this thing and it has definitely taken the top spot of my favorite Constructicon of this set. I mean, the original Revenge of the Fallen Mixmaster is still my favorite Transformers toy of all time, but this guy is definitely up there in the top of the list. I don't know exactly where, but the top list, it's up there. I really, really, really like this, the look, the feel, the plastic qualities, like I said before, it's just amazing now, and I cannot wait for the rest of the figures to come out. I did get Scavenger, so I will be doing that video next, so that'll be great, and I definitely recommend you buy one of these for yourself, because it's just so nice, and we've never got a figure of this character before, so it is in somewhat of a hot commodity, like it's, I've never seen one in the wild. Let's just say that. I've never seen one at Walmart. I've only been to Toys R Us once in the past, like, few months. So I've only, I've never seen it there. I've never seen it at EDB Games. So it's pretty sparse as to where you're going to find it. I got mine on Amazon on sale. So if you can find it without paying scalper prices, I would definitely recommend picking it up. Anyways, that's been my look at Studio Series, Revenge of the Fallen, Voyager Class, Constructicon, Scrapper. Oh my god, that's a mouthful. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, links in the description. If you want to support the channel, make, uh, make sure to hit that Patreon link in the description as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.